Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be about how to build these three vehicles behind. This is the Slim Mini, this is the Fat Boy, and this is the Dozer. So all of these are built off kind of the same principle. This one's going to be really good for early game when you haven't unlocked the big tires yet, but you're wanting to zip around your map. This one is the Fat Boy. It's just fun to drive. <laughs> we can now put storage on these be in carry stuff and because of that i designed this thing called the dozer which has a bumper three grand chest now you may be asking yourself what makes this vehicle better than other vehicles and that is a good question there are a lot of really good vehicles out there but to answer your question one of the main great parts of this vehicle is how skinny it is The reason why that matters is because when you're zipping around your world, you'll notice that you have a lot of stuff that's in your world that can get in your way. And some of the other vehicles out there, they cannot maneuver through these smaller uh, areas like this dozer can. And so if you're going to drive around the world, you're going to want something that's a little thinner, lower to the ground, doesn't flip a lot. And you can actually make this you can actually add an upgrade to this to prevent it from flipping at all if you want. Okay, so let's start off by building the Slim Mini. The Slim Mini, you're going to put down a small vehicle jack. You're going to grab what I call the Sea Dew Base. Uh, you'll be using this on all of the vehicles. Grab vehicle base number three. And a little trick I want to show you guys is if you snap onto the small car jack, you now have this lined up exactly where you need it. In the past, I told you guys, you know, I showed you how to pull off of the back side, but actually through working and testing, I found that snapping right there on the small jack and then nudging it out works wonderfully. Okay, once you've got your two vehicle bases on like that, you know, come up front and then we're gonna put a small vehicle, a small driver's seat all the way up front like that. And then we're gonna grab a, a medium powered engine and we're gonna put it right there. Two blocks back from the seat. After that, grab a small thruster and slap that on back here like that. Now we're gonna get medium powered wheels and put one there and one there like that. Then grab your medium turnable wheels and we're gonna put those up front like that then we can lower this whole thing down and since this last update they say they have fixed chest so we're gonna throw a little chest on there and we can grab a headlight an angled light bar and we can put that right there and there you go that is the slim mini this is a really fun build for early game if you haven't unlocked the large wheels yet, but this will get you around the map and it's a lot of fun to drive. Now we need to make sure we change our wheel direction so everything's going in the right way. With the Slim Mini, you can travel around your world, collect resources, and get back to your base pretty quickly and reliably. And this right here is the Fat Boy. It is one of my favorite vehicles to drive in the world. And with this latest update with chess working and traction on the tires, it has made it just that much funner to drive. So let me show you how to build that real quick. Gonna start off with a small car jack. See do vehicle base, vehicle base number three. Now we're gonna add one over here, one over here, same on the back. And then we're gonna come to the back and we're going to turn it sideways and place two like that. So that's how it should look at this point. We're gonna grab our large thruster, put one there, and a small thruster here, and a small thruster here, like that. Then we're gonna grab our large power engine, and we're gonna put it all the way to the back like that. Then we're gonna grab a small driver's seat, and this time this one's gonna be centered. You should have two up front and two in the back. Then we're gonna grab our large powered wheels, put one there, and one there. And then you just wanna look and make sure they're going across and that they are across from each other. Now we're gonna come up front, we're gonna grab large turnable wheels. We're gonna put one there. 
and one there. We can now remove this small car jack and let it drop to the ground. And then we're gonna add three simple trunks across there, like that. And if you want, you can put one here. And so now you've got four trunks on the fat boy. So you can go into the world and collect your stuff. Now we're gonna check our tire direction. Switch this tire, switch this tire. Add some power cells. And now we are ready to go adventuring. And again, check this out, this traction on these tires. This is so cool. This is just really neat. I would say overall, this is like my favorite uh, part of this recent update. Okay, and so now we have the Dozer. The Dozer is what I currently am running in Craftopia 3. It is probably one of my favorite vehicles. It is thin. It can fit between trees. It has a cool bumper. It's got a ton of storage space and, and thrusters to get you up the hills. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to build this. Small jack and sea do vehicle base. Grab vehicle base number three, move it forward, place, move it back, place. Now on the back, we're going to snap in two like this. And then instead of turning, we're gonna actually just snap in three more like this. Place a vehicle base on both sides of this front block. And then we're going to place one block sideways like that up front. Okay, now we're going to put our front bumper on, which is the ancient thin floor. Put three of those up front like that. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to put a large power center on the back of the vehicle like this. We're going to grab a small driver's seat. We're going to nudge it back one so that there's a space like that. Then we're going to grab our grand chest and we're going to put one right there, butt it up against the large power center. And then up here, we're going to put a grand chest right here with a latch facing us. And then up here, we're going to turn the grand chest around so that the latch is facing out. And so your two chests are right next to each other and your bumper is protecting your chest from getting destroyed. Again, be sure to follow these steps in the order that I build it in. Uh, if you jump around and put things on in different orders, you may run into a problem. Like if you were to put the wheels on, you would not be able to put the chest on. The wheels would prevent you from putting the chest and the engine on. Uh, something about the boundary borders. So be sure this is the steps that you follow. Now we're going to put a large thruster on the back and then two small thrusters on the side. Grab a large turnable wheel. You're gonna come up here, you're gonna move that wheel back. You want your bumper out the front of the wheels so that your wheels do not take damage. Okay, now double check, make sure they're lined up under here. And now we're gonna put our large power wheels on and we want the back of that wheel lined up with the back of that vehicle. Perfect, make sure they're lined up, great. All right, everything's looking wonderful. Now we can drop it down. And now we're gonna check our tire direction. Add some power cells to the large power center. And there you go, guys. There is the dozer. The dozer is a lot of fun to drive. It's got a ton of storage and can fly, can fly through in between trees and rocks and get up hills and mountains. If you're going to travel by land, I highly recommend uh, this vehicle. Something else that you can do to this vehicle to help you, whoa! Uh -uh. Almost flew away on me. <laughs> if you wanna be sure that this thing does not flip over at all, I would recommend adding one balloon. I would not add more than one balloon because if you add more than one balloon, it will take off like a rocket so you want this thing to hit the ground and fly around and stay where it's supposed to personally I don't run with a balloon on because I, I just like the wheels having full traction with the ground but if you find yourself rolling rolling over or flipping a lot 
Uh, definitely throw one balloon on there. It will help out a ton. So everybody, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a big favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the video uh, for more content like this. And as always, by God's grace, have a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!